the form here that is the the purchase order requesting the inventory but something that we have not yet paid for therefore there's nothing actually recorded yet on the financial statements until we actually receive the inventory so that's kind of an internal type of form the open purchase order uh, detail so similar kind of thing uh, but giving us more detail purchase by product detail report so this is the other one that I'm going to go into in a little bit more detail. So I'll, we'll talk about that later. These two are the main ones that are similar to the income accounts that we looked at. Income being broken out by customer or product. Now we're looking at the expenses broken out by the vendor or product. And then we've got the purchase by vendor uh, detail report. Similar. I'll take a look at that in a second. Transaction list by vendor. Let's open that one up. And so now we have our transactions by vendor. You would think that the things that we dealt with vendors for were we made purchases or recorded expenses by vendor. That, that's why it would be in the kind of expenses area. Let's do a custom range. 01012312-3123, run it. So there, there it is. And so we have our, our, uh, our each of our vendors and the detail for each of those vendors. So that's good however uh, if we're looking at the detail for each vendor we might more it might be easier to do this from an internal standpoint by going to the vendor center on the left hand side and searching possibly by vendor in that way and looking at the activity within uh, the vendor center okay i'm going to close this one up i'm going to close this one up i'm going to close this one up and then get to the main ones that I'm thinking to look into here. That's gonna be the expenses by vendor summary. I'll right click and open that. And then the purchase by product service detail. So I'm gonna right click and open that. And then the purchase by vendor uh, detail. Let's open that one up. And let's take a look at those. So I'm gonna to go to the tab that we opened up, close up the hamburger and change the range date range let's put it a custom range bringing it back to 010123 tab 123123 tab so now we've got uh the purchase the expenses uh that we have by vendor so if i go back to the income statement you'll recall when we looked at the income line we we said hey you don't want too many income lines because you want to record just what it is that you're selling as a general category not who you're selling it to by customer and not what you're actually selling by product why because then you can have sub reports that will allow you to tie in that more detail meaning income by customer and income by product similar thing on this expense item down here the cost of goods sold is kind of a special area because that deals with the selling of inventory that we can track more specifically with inventory, uh, the, the flow of inventory reports. But the expenses down here, we have a similar kind of thing as with the income. If we have the expenses, you'll notice are being reported not by who we sold it to. We're not recording expenses that says Edison expense because it's the Edison company, utility company. Instead, we're putting it under utility or electric expense. We're putting it under the thing that we bought not who we bought it from so that's sometimes people have a tendency to want to enter things into the system here as expenses by vendor and that might be even that makes sense to some degree because because if you look at the way most people enter on a small business you might be using bank feeds so if you go to the bank feeds over here and you're entering your expenses that way then the data that comes in through the bank feeds it's usually going to be in the memo section if it was an electronic transfer and the memo is going to give you the pay the, who who you paid right so so that means we're not going to have an, an account yet unless you've set up an account and basically memorize the transaction to go to that account so you might be tempted then to say i'm just going to make an expense account called like hicks hardware hicks hardware expense well that's not really what you want to do you want to put it into supplies or whatever you actually purchased and so so that's the the general concept here with the expense forms now most of the categories we kind of have an idea of what they are because because they're somewhat standardized like utilities expense or the telephone expense or automobile expense or something like that 
but sometimes it can be a little bit more abstract and unique to a particular business as to what the expense is. But we still want to generally record them by what we purchased. And then we can have a sub report that gives us the more detail about uh, who we purchased it from. Note, it's a little bit different also from the income in that with the income line items, we would expect not to have too many income accounts because we specialize in the thing that we do. Whereas in the expense accounts, even though we're recording by the thing that we purchased, we're still going to have a whole lot of expense accounts because we're not specializing in everything else, right? Everything else we need to run the business, we're purchasing from someone else, right? We're not doing it ourselves. We're purchasing everything else and then we're doing what we do well and that's what we're doing to generate the income. So there's going to be a lot of expense categories. When I look at the expenses by vendors, the, the, it's actually sm a smaller list or possibly the same size as the list that of expenses, right? That's kind of normal on the expense side, whereas on the income side, you would expect the expenses by or the income by customer to be much longer than the list of types of income accounts on the income statement. So in any case, this, of course, then we have our, our expenses that would be by customer. The total at the 819,859, you would think would tie out to the total down here. So we have, so if I minimize these ones, I'm going to say that the expenses here are at uh, the 5203.31 plus we have these expenses.